What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news and information regarding the Forsaken DLC for Destiny 2. Today I will cover a new exotic weapon which is absolutely crazy people. The new weapon loadouts and exactly how they will work come September and many other things. Changes are massive and there is a lot to talk about. But before we get into that people, let me tell you about a little giveaway I'm doing every single month to give back to my most loyal of subscribers and viewers. I'm giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent to anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the giveaway via the link within the video description. Fast, simple and legit. Good luck everybody. Okay, so the video does contain spoilers, so if you want to stay spoiler free, I'd leave right now. All this information does come from the latest edition of Game Informers magazine, which showcases a lot of new information, so expect a few videos from me over the few coming days with all new information on Destiny 2. Okay, so let's get into it and start with this new exotic weapon coming with the Forsaken DLC. So this exotic is one I speculated about a while back when we saw a brief glimpse of it within the teaser trailers. It's a weapon to me which just stood out in design and I had no doubt it was going to be an exotic weapon. Little did I know the kind of exotic this would be. Credit to Game Informer for the image. Link to their website can be found linked within the video description. Definitely worth a check out for sure. So the weapon is called the Cerberus Plus One and people just take a look at this thing. Now before we get into details, look at the front of this weapon. You can only imagine without these details what this thing does. It looks like some kind of Frankenstein weapon for sure. I love its design, truly unique and you can understand why I thought on initial sights that it would be an exotic weapon. Well this Cerberus Plus One is an auto rifle and get this people, those barrels at the front of the weapon ain't just for show. Oh no, Bungie ain't messing around here. This thing has four barrels which shoot all at the same time. Damn! This is what Game Informer say about this weapon. This wild new exotic auto rifle is inspired by the Contra spread gun and it really is four different barrels strapped together. The weapon shoots out of all four barrels at the same time in different directions so it can be devastating within the right circumstances. I mean that's just crazy people. If this is one of the early exotics being shown off, also remember that rocket launcher which shoots two rockets at the same time of different burn types, exotics come forsaken are looking to be nothing like we've ever seen before and that to me people is how it should be. Exotics need to look and feel and act exotic like the true form of rarity they have been labelled with. And this Cerberus Plus One looks to deliver on that. Imagine the fun we are going to be having with these people, I cannot wait for sure. Okay, so we're going to move on to the weapon loadouts and how they will work. Now, since the Forsaken reveal of Eduk, we knew that weapon loadout systems come September 4th will be like nothing we have seen before. The ways of playing will be truly unique to the franchise. If you want to roll with three shotguns, you can. Snipers, you can. If you want to use a loadout like Old School Destiny 1, you can. It's crazy what it can do. But since knowing this, we've had many questions about how things will work. How will ammo work with shotguns, which are now currently power weapons? How will they work when this shotgun is a primary or a secondary? Much confusion has been had. Today I have answers to exactly how such will work, so let's get into it. So this is how it will work. Ammo types are no longer directly tied to weapon slots, but are tied directly to weapons used. Weapons in your primary slot will use let's say green ammo boxes, as well as kinetic ammo boxes. Weapons in your secondary slot will use both white and green ammo boxes. Power weapons will and only use purple ammo boxes. Weapons which can be found in both your primary and secondary slots which use white ammo only are auto rifles, bowls, hand cannons, pulse rifles and scout rifles as well as sidearms and submachine guns. Weapons found in primary and secondary slots which use green ammo boxes are breech loaded grenade launchers, fusion rifles, shotgun snipers and trace rifles. And these are all the weapons found in that heavy weapon slot or power weapon slot which use purple ammo boxes only. Drum loaded grenade launchers, linear fusion rifles or rocket launchers and swords. Those are the limitations to weapons, ammo and weapon placement but there are exceptions. Because going by these rules a weapon like the Legend of Acrius would either be a primary or secondary weapon which to me would just be OP. Game Informer state that there will be exceptions like this where such weapons which are that powerful may be a power weapon slot weapon and can only be used from there. 
So expect to see people, the Legend of Acrius being a power weapon. Even though every other shotgun or most other shotguns will now be available for primary and secondary weapon slot uses. Game Informer do state the Hawthorne's Field for Shotgun is now a primary weapon and tied to that slot. Remember though, the way it works, even if it is in this slot, it will still require green ammo boxes to be used. But it gives you an inkling into how things are going to change, as this shotgun isn't exactly a chump of a weapon. So imagine weapons you have now, used only in that power weapon slot like shotguns, snipers, fusion rifles, these will be relocated into primary and secondary weapons. So yes, confirmed, you will be able to use that main ingredient out of that secondary slot which uses green ammo. Absolutely crazy people. Now we await the balance which will obviously be applied to certain said weapons. I don't mean by nerfing weapons either guys, I mean in terms of how ammo drops, the amount you get and so forth. It's going to happen no doubt people, but yeah, this info comes from Game Informer, so thanks to them for the information. The Forsaken DLC releases September 4th guys, and it can't come soon enough. I'm excited to say the least. Destiny 2 will forever be changed into what in my opinion should be the game upon release. A whole year later it seems to be coming though people, it really does. And on that note, I am out. If you guys enjoyed the video, hitting that like button truly helps me out. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with the latest news on Destiny 2, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.